Uh, welcome to the Bad Input Podcast. Hey, uh, welcome to the, I don't know, I want to do this uh, official Smash podcast we can have Flames on. Yeah, oh, he's uh, gonna be he's gonna be here in uh, mm-hmm. in July, so we'll absolutely be able to record some stuff. And I have cool fake names. You, I'm sorry. You have fake news? I have fake names for that. Oh, one. I think you said fake news. I, I texted excited. to you guys earlier. What I names? Had the Amiibros. I thought Smash you were. Ju- I thought you messed up because then you like sort oh, of corrected no. yourself. Did you actually want to call it Amiibros? Yeah, I like that. So yeah. mad. It's okay. a it's a subreddit though. Oh, are you fucking serious? Yeah, and it's a website for like Nintendo news. We'll, we'll talk oh, about that fuck later. Fuck Reddit. Um, I love I yeah. love you, Reddit. He's my handy dandy thing. So with me tonight is Eloy. Oh, hello. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and hello. Colin. <laughs> oh, hello. Eloy, you're so far away from uh, mine. Look, look, look our look our big waves. Hi. I'm the Ferg that does the CJ. I'm just gonna make my little middle waves, making my waves, baby. Making my waves. Yeah, that volume. Making my own no, waves, good volume. I like that volume. Making my I waves. Like that shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys? I have a whole list of topics for once. Like Bayonetta. The, for the first time. For an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, not until Flames gets here. <laughs> this is this is normal talk time. Oh, thank this God. Is, uh, this is the. I really don't want to talk about the, Bayonetta. The Toka Letterman show. I don't know how to open notes. Well, it's too. Oh, oh well, go. It's, it's in the Samsung section. You, you just Look, got that. Yeah, I'm, oh, a yeah. Android, I'm an Android bitch boy now. Yep. Oh, I wrote podcast. And he's still stealing my charger. No, <laughs> always <laughs> worked out perfectly. You upgraded, dude. You upgraded. That was the only so, reason I upgraded, just so you'd stay away from my charger, and then you come back, you come crawling back. Crawling in my skin. Uh, so freaking. So what do you want to talk about? Cable not being existent anymore. Billy Mitchell getting caught. Uh, job secret world of kids, which is mm-hmm. real world with little kids. Uh, Black oh. Panther or elementary school shit. I'm, I'm down for Billy Mitchell and Black Panther. Also, elementary school, real world sounds. Yeah, awesome. pick one. Yeah, what the you gotta pick one. You gotta Let's do start one. With elementary school, like what? The, okay. the, yeah, the kids' real world. That is very intriguing. Yeah, the kids' real world. Why? There was a and how. There was a yeah. commercial. I was watching some wrestling at work. Uh, uh, something called Secret World of Kids, and it's literally real world. You know, real world Chicago. I'm a girl. I'm a boy. I'm another boy. And we're all straight guys. <laughs> we're gonna I tag team I don't want to get fucked. Stop it! No. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know where we're going with this. Yeah, I, thought, I thought you were I gonna say I'm a boy and a girl. <laughs> and we're and we're, we're strangers that come together <laughs> to to live our real lives and find ourselves in the. Real world, Chicago, <laughs> and you think we're kidding, but that's literally how this show. Are went. you serious? Yeah, so real world went. Those we intros. wrote that while we've been drinking alcohol. Yeah, when we didn't write it. God. Yeah, then you just tell a bunch of like hot, sexy mid twenty whatever, early thirty year olds again a photo booth. Yeah, green screen them doing cool stuff like <laughs> yo, blah blah blah. Imagine that, but with kids. Like these fucking kids, they must have been like maybe four or five, and like they're walking around, uh, like holding hands and shit, forming relationships. Their parents are watching them on a like, security camera. Look up the promo right now. The parents um, aren't even. That's what was, that was going to be my question. The parents aren't even me? within striking distance. No, nah, no. Nah. And like, it looks like they're actual relationships. Oh, like, look up this promo. You're not. I know. Okay, I had to write right, it well, down. I mean, side well, secret well, world of I mean, kids. I know. Like, I'm really. I, I'm. I'm kind of intrigued, but also kind of scared of what I'm going to be watching. Oh, I'm. I'm semi. I'm kids. horrified. Yeah. Like, what are these? What are these kids going to be? What is going to be doing? I, it's. Um, well, it's like I'm okay with Gordon Ramsay teaching kids how to cook, but when you're like putting kids in a house together, like the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What the fuck? You're is asking this? for it, dude. Yeah. Just asking for a kid's life to get fucked up. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, this is Gypsy Kids. I'm sorry. Oh, gross. Wrong one. Wrong one. I'm Fucking sorry. Fucking Gypsies. It said Our World. Okay, hold on. Gross. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Look it up on Google. Gross. Gypsies. Fucking Esmeralda. Actually, that's sexy, so I'll take it back. Give me Esmeralda Gypsy. I'm down. Yeah, that I'm cool with. She's you just chug that whole thing? I she, chug it. I was sipping it. Oh, man. By our, yeah, I'm down. our link letter. Okay, hold on, hold on. This cleanse. I can't find me. it. You, you got you. I put that as a, a topic. Oh, okay. Diet cleansing. And shit. There's, Diet. A, there's a. Yeah. yeah. I can't find it unless it's by Art Linkletter, which I don't think it's a book. So oh, I, I can't find it. I've looked. This is it like kids, on MTV? Right? Yeah. Or like I can't find it. Oh, don't oh, take out Real World. Well, I, I just added that because I was oh, trying God. to add to it, but it doesn't. It's the same things. God. I'm not gonna find Hildegard. it. Hildegard. Hildegard. Yeah. No. Well, I, I do. We're gonna. I mean. Yeah. Maybe we trusted you saw it. Maybe it's a excuse me. Maybe it's a UK show. So that's still weird. Well, it could UK. be UK. Maybe it's a, 
No. Secret Life of four and five year olds? It yeah, it be. is. That's it. Secret Life. Is that what it is? The yeah. Secret Life. They're on the playground. Channel Four. Yeah, some British shit. Is all yeah, the that's girls? it. That's fucking it. That's an all girl version though. What the fuck? That's one of the versions. So this, so it'd be the Secret Life of four and five year olds. Possibly. Is there only one? There's no kid. There's no boys. No, there's boys. There's only one boy. They're all on each other. Like, oh, this is my boyfriend. Oh my goodness. Not saying it like that. Serious? Not saying it like that. Of course. No, but. I mean like the fact that yeah. they have these kids are five. But that's what was happening well, like, in our I elementary mean, schools. I mean, that's true. I, I had a girlfriend when I was six. See, yeah, that's this true. This is this. Yeah, is I, I can't. Bit. It's not working. I'm a little bit scared. Why? By a little what bit, you I mean a lot. With other children on the playground, Eloy. When you're playing a child? with fucking blocks and trying to learn the alphabet, you know, and swinging shit. on the monkey bars. Yeah, well, I chased, but but I, you Fuck never had a, like a crush. Where she like chased you around the playground and you chased her back, but you're like, I don't like you, but you actually did like her. You never had no. that? I had that. That was my thing. But my actual ex girlfriend, I that was my first kindergarten crush, and then twelve years I was later about to we say, met that in person. Sounds, that dream sounds oddly specific. No, it's not a dream. That shit happened. <laughs> I mean the real yeah, well back I didn't know that and then it sounded real. The real. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like, real. Like wow, real. that's really Yeah, that's really vivid. Wow, it almost sounds like it happened. Yeah. <laughs> I kinda wanna I wanna harp on this whole being young topic. You know what kinda sucked? Young what? dumb and bro. Did you, did you I didn't ever, have a car? <laughs> no, like <laughs> couldn't drink alcohol? Not like yeah, like young young where like oh. missing recess is a huge deal. Nutrition. Did, did you ever do standards? Yes. Yeah. So, oh, t- oh, dude, I did like 200 of them one time. Okay, so I thought I was the only one to go through that shit. Yeah, I, I will do sucked. my homework. Do you want, I will do my homework. Do you want I will not standard? lie. Standards are like, at the beginning of The Simpsons, Bart Simpson's writing something over and over again on the blackboard. Mm-hmm. That's what standards are. Yep. Uh, for sure, they don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. But God, that shit sucked. And I'm wondering, do you guys remember any other punishments or shitty memories from like being that young? Uh, I got uh, red cards. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? No. So there was so in my elementary school uh, in first grade, uh, we had like a little board, and everybody had basically it was like so, almost like soccer, but everyone had green cards, yellow cards, and red cards. So it's if soccer. you had a green, if you had a green card next to your name, it meant that you were uh, you were yeah you were good. Uh, if you got a yellow card, it means you did something bad and you have a warning, but you didn't do bad, that bad. Just don't do it again. No. Then a red card was like you fucked up. You done fucked up, kid. Fucked up. I always got a red card. <laughs> Always. You want to know why? why? Because my stupid Jewish. ass would talk during nap time. I'd talk to myself and look at the stucco on the wall and be like, that's a bird. Uh, that's a balloon. Uh, I'm not, I shit you not. I got like so a, many red cards. You're, really you're prison wardens. Hey, <laughs> hey, shut up in there. Shut up, you little kid. It's like all these kids are sitting on those un- uncomfortable ass cots and they're just like, shut up, we're trying to nap. And I'm just sitting there, just my ADD ass, just looking up at the ceiling, just counting count stucco pictures. And I'd get red cards. And the way that they would show that you were a bad kid count is that you would you got out. is what yeah. count the days till you got out of prison. I, seriously, <laughs> I, I had to count it was hours that, and then hours back then when you were a kid were like days. Yeah. So so I had to bring if you got a red card you'd have to bring it home and show your parents so they would know that you did that. I threw so many red cards away and I never got away with any of them. Oh my god! Because my parents took out the trash. Weird, oh, yeah. weird how that happened. Yeah. yeah, that's that. That's one punishment I, I definitely remember. I remember standards too, or having to sit on the bench. We talked about that in a Dark Souls episode. Mm. And then and then uh, and I was like, I told I was some kid punched me in the stomach, and then I told the yard duty that he punched me in the stomach, and then I got benched for it. And then you were like. Actually, that was the the least of your problems because you're a damn snitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the truth. I think I told the inverse of that when I actually punched a kid in the stomach. Oh, uh, you know, what yeah. <laughs> you, you threw like, a rock at a kid's head and punched somebody in the nuts on accident too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I didn't realize. Uh, I'm a walking weapon. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. All righty, let go. Um, do I remember any? Uh, any, Besides any, you stealing yeah. cheese in your principal's office. Oh, yeah. That, that, was, that fucking, was so funny. Yeah. You fucking borrower. <laughs> I told you about borrow that. this cheese. I told you guys that the time I put white out on my nose. Right? American Tales. Fight white out on your nose? Yeah. What? Why would that? Because I called you Fifel from American Tales. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little kid with a fucking big ass hat or pants or whatever the fuck it was. Right? Am I thinking of the right mouse uh-huh. movie? Yeah. yeah. And then Fifel goes west one time. Yeah. What did you, so you put white out on your nose? What is? Uh, sorry. What if Fifo went south? To uh, the uh, the song would be a little more. Say racial epithets at him. I think that's really funny. I, I'd like to see that. 
Paco goes, he, goes, goes he, he goes across the no. Mexican no. border. He, he, he goes across the way. Mexican border and he runs in a Speedy Gonzalez. So yeah, you're not, you're not talking about friends. You're not talking about South. You're talking about South Central because you just said Fifo goes hood. <laughs> <laughs> so like one of the songs when Fafo goes west I'll find the girl I'll find the girl I left behind uh, it would be like imagine a, a more trap version of that yeah I saw the crack dealer I saw the crack dealer <laughs> get that cheese right cheese, cheese 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 <laughs> get us money cheese he accidentally uh, cheese, walks in cheese. walks in on a blood meeting and then they, they they bring him into the bloods but then he wants to save this girl and then after he saves her he finds out she's a crip oh god oh shit then, guest starring Tyrese as <laughs> Sergeant Miss <laughs> and Keith Sweat as the leader of the oh yeah we'll do like car wash where they sneakily made it an all black cast but, uh, no no not car wash Jesus Christ the Barbara? fish movie what with Will Smith movie? what fish, fish movie with Will Smith oh Shark Tale Shark Tale it's cause car Every, wash was in this damn promo I don't think I ever it. saw that and good it I never good. saw it either it was good I mean was I like, it I like was it I mean I was young Uh-oh. why does that thing keep falling here was why does it? that thing fall was it was it uh, no oh. yeah <laughs> I, I was a young man growing up in a world of animation. You had Finding Nemo mm-hmm. and Black Finding Nemo. <laughs> Black Finding Nemo. That's what it was. That's what it was. Shark yeah. Tale. Look up the it cast for was. Shark Tale and read it off to it me. Who's fucking okay. what? Will Smith and. Rawl Smith. Oh, okay. Will. Rawl Smith. Rawl Smith. Rawl Smith. Oh, yeah. I remember this. I remember this yeah. poster. So I bet you Cedric the Entertainer was in it. Uh, Angelina Jolie Jada was Pinkett in was in it I think yeah, Angelina like, was in Angelina it. Jolie was in it because she has giant lips Will that counts Smith, uh, Will Smith as Oscar the underachieving blue street cleaner yeah Robert De Niro ew oh what no, 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 it's not, it's not, yeah. he's the only boy. he's the only oh I'm sorry no Ziggy Marley's in it so <laughs> Ziggy fucking Marley yeah, uh, well, uh, Katie Couric was in it that's Martin hot. Scorsese oh the things what, I would do to Katie Couric uh, was a puffer yeah. fish owner of the whale Walsh wash whale wash mm-hmm. then Jack Black was Lenny Lino Renee Zellweger was Angie god what a repulsive cast and then Michael Imperioli fuck he was even real oh. and then Vincent Pastore and Peter Falk Peter Falk? Peter Falk. Yeah, Peter Falk. I don't yeah. know who the fuck that is. Yeah, are kidding me. Peter, Peter Falk. Peter Falk? Peter Falk. I have no... Oh, he died okay. in pneumonia. So I might have been a little wrong on that state. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. It was a stupid well, video. Well, the main character was It was black. a stupid video for it. It was Car Wash, like, starring Missy Elliott. They remixed it for Shark the Movie. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> well, that would, so. well, that would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh, it's Funny Nemo, but Urban. Holy shit. What time... What, what, what year do you guys think that movie came out? It came out like 2006. 2006. No, no, a little after Funny Nemo. Seven. Oh, fucking no. 2007. 2004. Oh. Ew! Damn. Oh, yeah, because Finding Nemo came out around Malibu's Most Wanted. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. No, it didn't. Do you remember the Jamie Kennedy experiment? <laughs> well, I rem- I never <laughs> saw it, but I know Dude, about it. you don't remember the Jamie Kennedy experiment? No. Anymore? How about this, son? Yo, nice to meet you. My name is Executive. Your name is Jamie Kennedy. You're pretty, like, funny. We want to make you funnier by giving you a prank show. Oh, that's what I... Where I, the I, target is X'd. So whenever you prank them, you say, you got X'd on the J.B. Kennedy experiment. I just, I just want to show you... <laughs> I just want to show you the picture of the, of the, of the fucking... <laughs> Wait, what's the timestamp? It's like, remember... What time uh, uh, it is at... <laughs> it's, at it's at 15... It's almost 16 minutes. I put that shit like in the Google Drive. Okay. Hopefully it's not going to scare me. Hey, that's amazing. <laughs> that's crazy. That's funny. That's a I love it. Well, it's like it's like a it's like a headshot, but like awful, right? Yeah. Was hard. he even that big? You, I think yeah. He, I feel like why well, that Malibu's time he was wanted. It was, was like, like him his biggest and Seth Green, like that yeah. character dynamic. Though, like that was huge back in the early two thousands. Yeah. So he was he was a taller Seth Green. <laughs> Which is saying he, he really was. I remember, he dated uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt for a little bit. Did he? Ooh. Did he really? Yeah. Damn, that was the height of his career. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. No, he did not. Yeah, I was gonna look that up. I refuse Hold on. to believe put it that. Google. Oh, I'm looking yeah. it up. The only Melissa, one I believe Melissa is Joan Hart. I forget which one. <laughs> she dated that cool cat on her TV show. Let's uh, <laughs> be the teenage witch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> she dated that awesome black cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What I miss? Wait, who are you talking about? Melissa Joan Hart. She dated that yeah. awesome cat dude on yeah, her show. Yeah, she did. She did. Wait, did she really? <laughs> no. Oh, I was fucking like, she dated the voice Paul, of Salem, who sounded Paul like he was fifty. Was the only boyfriend yeah. she could get? <laughs> who was a cool talking? No. Speech 
He said, that's what he sounded like. Yeah. That's all I can do. <laughs> I wonder whose voice that was. He was a he was a talking skateboard. Also, his name is Salem Saberhagen. Look up the talking skateboard. There was a talking skateboard. Yeah, skateboard kid. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that. The John Tron, remember the John Tron skateboard kid? Oh, that's right. Yeah. The, oh, uh, Don DeLuise, Don right? DeLuise, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. Sam the Cat. You don't know that. Yeah, Melissa Joan okay. Hart. You, if you heard his voice, you know who it is. <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart was sucking Don DeLuise's nips. No. <laughs> oh, they are fucking on the show. No, of course not. Oh, God. Thank God. Jeez. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know it's their horrible. lives. All right. Pete fucking moobs. <laughs> Just moves Probably, all yeah, day. Yeah, he did. Uh, voice What's actor. I don't know who this is. Okay. Diets and poops. Diets Poop and poops. Diets. Nick Bouquet. I'm taking a fucking cleanse. He's a right guy. Now. How? What kind of cleanse? It's a ten day uh, smoothie cleanse. Oh, the same the cat vegetable, cleanse. Vegetable smoothies. Uh huh. Fuck. Do you live? Are you gonna live with two uh, witch ants? Witch ants in a hot college w- witch. What are you, what are you the doing? fuck are you talking Sam, about? Oh, gee, he's doing the Salem the Cat cleanse. Oh, so you're just yelling at blonde girls all the time? Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh my god, he did live in a house I'm full of hangry. blondes. You're hangry? I'm hangry all the time. Isn't that fun when you're dieting? Yeah, no. It's like, oh, this is air. I'm just eating all air. Yeah. And you see the advertisement for, uh, I don't know, something that's not expensive. Yeah, like Jenny Craig. Or like a $5 box from Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, oh wow, this is like the price of way cheaper than going to Sprouts or Whole Foods and spending uh seven dollars and half a sandwich. Yep. <sighs> yeah, dude, I got a sandwich after school the other day and it's a fucking nine dollar sandwich. Oh a damn, nine dollar fucking yeah. sandwich. Meanwhile, McDonald's is like, even? Oh, my fries are like two bucks oh. uh-huh. and the salt is just perfect so and they're golden and the line you don't have to get out of your car or anything. Isn't there a Taco Bell fucking new commercial with like cheese sauce and like little fries or something well, like, like that? Like queso or something bullshit. Yeah, yeah, like nacho fries. Nacho Nacho fries, yeah, I think shit. nacho fries. I thought that was Burger yeah. King. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, not I, I don't remember. Burger King had the Cheeto fries, the Cheeto. That's they right. Had the Cheeto fries and the Cheeto chicken fries. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, you're right. It's crazy Bell, food we're coming now. up with. Yeah, like, yeah nacho fries are America's about. like coming up with right now. Fucking Eric? crazy. It makes a cleanse hard. I'm just seeing everything. My mouth is watering. Yeah, he's at the same another name. It's all about cravings. Oh, I'm work, killing, I'm killing all these cravings. I but work fun. at a horrible fucking place. I was like, okay, the, the first week they got, like, gifts from other hospitals and stuff. I was like, okay, maybe it'll be once in a while. Nope. And say, like, oh, hey, there's bagels there. Oh, hey, someone brought chocolate. Oh, hey, someone brought blah, blah, blah. See, your son and I brought blah, 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 blah. I'm like, this is fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked up. Why are you offering me chocolate chip cookies and shit and brownies? Oh, you guys are yeah. you're fat as shit if you keep oh, eating that stuff. I was like, nope. I was oh, like, no. man. But they're like, are you no. sure? I'm like, No. And like, oh, you know, like Hispanic women naturally are nurses, blah blah blah. So they like, eat, eat. Like, no, stop. Oh, You're not my mother. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's the worst they part. Want to get you? D- full. Desserts are the things that'll kill you the most because it's like you can eat Taco Bell, but at least it has like protein and veggies, and, mm. and it's greasy as hell. But yeah. chocolate's just pure sugar, and it's like 400 yeah. calories, and you, you can eat two pieces of that of shit. Oh, and once you, you take that much of it in one sitting too. Once yeah, you take that easy. first bite too, you're fucked. You take that one little nibble, you're like I'll have, I'll have a little mm-hmm. piece. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, this tastes too good. We got a Hershey's Kisses downstairs, and I literally can only grab one and make <laughs> sure I grab one because that's one. literally that's literally. I'm not. I swear to God, yeah. like 150 calories in like one tiny little thing. Whew. And that's the most dangerous because you don't even have to look at your hands to eat it. Nope. You're just like un- crumble, crumble, and wrap, pop, yeah, just pop crumble, them in crumble, your crumble, mouth. and wrap, pop. Oh, I- that's twenty. Oh, I'm sorry, stomach. Yeah. Oh, you want more stomach? Oh, I'll be obliged to no, you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna be constipated as fuck. What's a food you can you think you can mindlessly eat? Cheez Its. Cheez Its for oh, you? Oh God, dude, I could eat a whole Ooh. box. Cheez Its, not or like Cheez-Its. a whole sleeve like, like Cheez Its. Also, like, like Ritz crackers too. God damn, like Ritz crackers I could do. <sighs> Gummy bears or <sighs> yeah, I could do or that I could do that. Uh, I don't know. A certain hot pocket, maybe the lean pockets. If I had like a, a maid named like Oscar or some shit, like keep warming them up for me, Oscar. Oscar, I want my pretzel, Oscar, breaded lean pockets. Oh, those are the best ones. So I get fat. Oh no, In and Out. I'm fucking lying. No, 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 no. Burrito bowls from Chipotle. Those are, oh, gr- but those are actually not bad for you, depending exactly. on what you yeah. yeah, those are actually pretty yeah. good for you. The poops will still hurt. 
Oh, fuck yeah, they hurt. Why? Fire explosive shit. You should, you, should, you should drink coffee and then eat Chipotle like I've done like on four occasions. Why? Because it's, it's a fun ride. Oh, okay. Like, it's a fun yourself. ride where you waste a whole toilet paper roll in a oh. day. Didn't know you are making your own saw traps. Here's <laughs> 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 a bowl of Chipotle or you doing, and, and a or cup you, of coffee. New you YouTube. don't drink either of them, you die. <laughs> Is this a new YouTube trend? The no. shit potle. I oh, don't know, because I'm addicted shit to coffee. Po- shit potle. <laughs> shit potle. I'm, just, I'm just addicted to fucking coffee. I love coffee. I have three mm. cups a day now. I need to cut that shit out. Oh, no. It's bad. I piss a lot. I feel bad having, like, three cups of tea at work over the course of the day. Yep, I don't. You just drink coffee and you just <laughs> I poop? I love tea, so I envy Oh, that. I poop so, and pee. Two different jobs. I've, I've brought it up, and I'm disturbed that the reaction is the same way about coffee. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, I need my coffee, but I'm like, does I make you poop? They're like, ha 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 ha, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's the most unnatural answer I've ever heard in my life. Why are you drinking this if it's hurting you? Because the benefits are better. The benefits besides that are like, it's like, that's I like one negative. It's like you poop, care. you poop I, a bit I, and you pee, stop. but it's like, it gives you stop. energy, just helps you through the day, it tastes just good. You've been, you guys have been telling me the same it answer. It sounds for, like you're like addicted to crack or something. No, you guys have been telling me the same answer for two years. I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, I drink coffee like every once in a while. I don't have my coffee maker anymore, so I've actually stopped drinking coffee. But it's probably good. What happens it sounds to your like, coffee maker? It's at my mom's house. I just oh, okay. didn't bring it over to my house. But it sounds like whenever people drink coffee, they're like super addicted to it and they just want it and then like it sounds like they're addicted to meth you know it's, it's, just, it's, it's not it's exactly like, the same it's like way. meth meth in the cup but I definitely i got my first coffee headache the other day and i was actually mad because then i had to drink coffee like the whole like a coffee headache literally lasts you the whole day like, so you had, it lasts me so for you had with, about six hours so you Damn. had withdrawals yeah withdrawals yeah, 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 yeah withdrawals. exactly that's exactly <laughs> at least what you're getting them now i was carpooling my friend dre i was like 19 fucking i stopped at mcdonald's because he or else we get coffee headaches well, during McCaffrey. practice. During practice, yeah. he's his coffee before practice. I'm like, you're a sick, dude. Now I'm not sure I could do. That. I could do it after. Actually, that's not. That's a lie. I, I drank coffee before I worked out with Mason last week. Yeah, you know. it's your go-go juice. It is. Yeah, like, pretty much. Yeah. Like I don't, honey, need, I don't need pre-workout. That shit wakes me up in the morning. <laughs> like Honey Boo Boo's go-go juice. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I feel bad oh. for that, like, dude. Dude, Honey Boo Boo when she's 18. What does she look like now? Uh, probably a horrible. Hopefully better. I hope better, but my God. I mean, how bad could you yeah. look? She was like, what, nine? Yeah, but she had a lot of things going wrong. She's a pageant chick. But there's so much girl to her that was going wrong. She What was her favorite drink? Coke or something? Go-go juice. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, she, looks like a, she looks like a normal little kid. She really does. Yeah, good for her. So with the person next to her. That's her mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's her <person> <laughs> you know, yeah. they have fake teeth for pageant people. <laughs> Damn, dude. I don't know what's. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. <laughs> uh, Sorry, that caught me yeah. off guard. He's like wearing the same pattern. There's, as the so, dress. Much, there's so much happening in this picture that I'm not even going to put up in the video. <laughs> like, you want I refuse. Did, did he just take somebody's strand of hair and put it in his goddamn pocket? What is this? That's her husband, dog. I can't, oh, the child molester? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a child molester. So raise your hand if you work in Hollywood and you haven't uh, sexually assaulted a woman. Because I want to, I'm going to ask that question every month until it stops. Uh oh boy, <laughs> I would imagine. I, I I'm just at this point. I just assume you're guilty until proven innocent. Oh all Jesus it. Christ! Great. Oh, so they sucked all the fat from the mom's face that she has too much gums now. Yeah, they also sucked her okay. soul out of her. Okay. Oh, yeah, those look like fake teeth. Those look like like fake uh, Halloween teeth that you get. Look at Maggie Gyllenhaal. Eloy, uh, w- Eloy, would you or would you not? I wouldn't. I'm on the fence, so no. I wouldn't. What do you mean? It depends. Like, look, look at the third like, picture. There, yeah, oh yeah, third, third picture. There definitely. No, no, no. There, no, no, I wouldn't. Picture. Yeah, I just. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I, I. It's just this one. I wouldn't. Oh no, she, she looks, looks dead. She looks like she's she <laughs> seventy dead somehow. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh wait, go to that one. Which one? Yeah, that one. This one. Nice. There you go. Uh, good sunlight. Good sunlight on the face. A little younger it's looking. Like, it's like about the lighting. Yeah. yeah. It really is. Wait, go to that one. To the left. Down. Left. What the fuck is that? They're comparing her to Taylor Swift. Keeps getting ass. That's a horrible picture of her. That is the worst she picture of her. so sad and tired. Oh, dude. 
Yeah, but I don't understand. Like, she why one so picture sad. she looks like she's like thirty, and the other picture she's yeah. like sixty? Like she up don't. to the left? Actually, no, just to the left. I can't of this wait one. to get to my like that dad. one. Never mind. <laughs> she, well, yeah. <laughs> Before it got enlarged, it looked like she was smiling, and then you enlarged, it looked like she's not smiling. It's like anymore. it's like the I don't know something about the cheeks. It like makes her look ten times it's older. Like I'm going cheeks. to hell for this one. Yeah. Let's Google Hollywood's ugliest actors. Oh man, what? Uh, it's gotta know. This probably is, nice people. This is pure opinion, by yeah. the way. All this right. is opinion. This somewhere. Is someone out there for everyone? Oh, ugliest well, actors, ugliest feet. Yeah, this is a feet website. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, Steve Buscemi Wait. is not is not what you'd call a handsome man. That's now, not that's <laughs> for somebody in a movie. Yeah, what is that? so so? When I said the term Hollywood's ugliest actor, whoever. <laughs> Whoever popped up in your head first, you're probably yeah, right. Yeah, Ron Perlman came to my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Ron Howard's brother. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Oh, dude. Dude, he's fucking... What's his face from uh, the league? Andre. It's like Andre oh there. My God. That's not Andre. That's just he, he looks like him. He just has a gap. Like gaps look awkward on Caucasian people. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> they really yeah. don't know. Seal why. can pull it off. I think it's the lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, all right. I feel who, I feel who, sort of bad now. Who could pull it the off? What is wrong with Angelina Jolie? Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> oh my god, she's a fish. That's Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Oh god, I hope so. Someone photoshopped Angelina Jolie look like yeah. a human fish. Wait, look to the left. Look who the hell's that? <laughs> who the fuck is Shane McGowan? I don't even know who that is. That's not he, a real person. I mean, that's a, oh, just, someone yeah. put Tilda Swinton with hair. That's not fair. Oh shit. Oh no, she's I, not ugly. She just looks like an alien. She's she unique. Looks like a she, man. she just looks like a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? Oh, that's a. That's lips. not oh, true. She's so hot. <laughs> she really is. I mean, when she's yeah, her tits are huge. Her ass is huge. She's never been attracted to me. The chick from Twilight. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would. I would. She she looks like like I think she's hot. I feel like she can't carry a conversation. That I feel is true. <laughs> that I feel is true. Wait, that is Oh, DJ, uh, what's his oh, name? Was DJ, oh, can I <laughs> Stop clicking on that. Now, why is this can't be an actor? <laughs> Stop. It has to be. Stop making me throw up. Who is this? Michael, Michael Berryman. Cuckoo's nest. Is that a real man? Someone out of British. Look, oh, it is. Oh my god, I feel bad now. Hey, but look to the left. Or so we can get we can, our erection can come. Back. Oh yeah! There you go. Oh fuck yeah! Some people are just too lucky in this Hard world. As shit. Like I, I always say, God doesn't give up both hands. But you have Chris Hemsworth on this earth. Yeah, that's not fair. fucking sense of humor. <laughs> good actor, good looking, and he's like he's New Zealand or whatever. Yeah. So he's got the accent. Yeah. Okay. See, this is bullshit because this girl literally like casts herself as the ugly chick. What the, in everything? The, the human yeah. crow, Rachel Dratch. Y'all. <laughs> Like they did what they did like the thing on SNL with her. What was it? She was like negative Nancy or some bullshit. She always like that. looks like a boy. <laughs> yeah, I actually love that skit. Yeah. All right. Well, there's that thing. That's her. Oh man. All right. I feel. No, I go feel, to the right. No, no, go bad. up to the right. No, down. This one. One, one to the right. That's from American Horror Story. Holy crap! Damn. Oh, it's the same thing with the, the McPoyle sister. Actually, all is she the, actually good looking. All three of the McPoyles are ridiculously attractive. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Like the McPoyles from uh, It's Always Sunny. They're repulsive looking people, but. Oh, it's Mc po- I thought it was McPoyles for a long time. It is they're McPoyles. All in real life, really attractive. Oh, i never seen that show. Yeah. Even the sister? dudes. Who are the McPoyle sisters? Holy shit. Yeah. That's her. Uh, yeah, I would. But then she looks like this in the show. Yeah, they mix, they inter- they breed within the family also. Yep. Hard. And, and then Dennis, while well, they fucking they held him up for hostage, Dennis tried to uh, seduce the sister so that he could get in with them. Oh, and like escape. Yep. Yeah. That's why they're sweating because I think they turn off the air conditioning. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. And they just drink warm milk all the time. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is, I think, yeah, this is. The guy on the left? Oh. Crazy fucking range. Jim. Yeah. Jim, I, I've, I've seen, seen him in other things. He's yeah. in the uh, Tupac and Biggie special that's airing tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, here he is. But, oh, no, it's him still. Liam. Boyle. Let me put, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, you get the thing in your face. All right. Oh, left. What, oh, left this one. Oh, oh god. Oh yeah. Yeah. She. Uh, she got like. Uh, what was it? What is the fucking Stockholm syndrome? syndrome? That's it. But they didn't know what it meant. Uh, go, go to the left. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> you can go to the left. One more to the left. Nice. Yeah. My God. Margaret is actually hot. And she's got an ugly name in the show too, Margaret. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's a terrible. Who's this? Sierra Sky. All right, focus. Let's. Uh, All right, we're talking last about topic. Are we talking about Smash now? <laughs> no. Smash Mouth. Not. We're definitely not talking about Smash Mouth. Okay. We're, we're talking, talking about. I can't drum roll. Chicken nuggets. I want Cable chicken nuggets. Cable. You want how it's dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven to ten minutes to talk about. I rearranged my room. For the first time in a decade. Mm-hmm. And it was weird because I was like, I don't have to think about the cable box connecting to an actual like cable. Like I was free to move whatever I want around for the first time. Because you weren't watching cable anymore. Yeah. So it's like, where are we heading to? What is this future we're going? Netflix and chill. Hulu yeah, Hulu. And blue to go wrong with animation. Uh, Crunchy uh, Crackle. Roll. Yeah, but we're like, what? Like, well, are we gonna? Is our when our TV is gonna be obsolete? Like CDs are obsolete by the end of this year. I, I found a fucking CD rack where we're cleaning my room. A CD rack I got like in 1999, I think. Damn. So that thing it doesn't even mean anything. If I held that up to a group of kids, they'll probably think it's something for me to keep my fidget spinners in or something. Oh, they don't know what a jeweled <laughs> case thing is. Yeah. What that yeah. white thing sticking out of the, the box in Collins room right now. That's going to be obsolete also. Yep. I said, like, what, are, what are we moving towards? It's scaring me. I don't it's, know. Scary, it's scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> Google Play. Little, those little things that you attach to your TVs mm-hmm. to get all the, you know. Yeah, um, fire sticks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like yeah. TV, yeah. Roku and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where the future's headed. Probably. I mean, if it has everything that you need in that little thing, I mean. Why not? Just TVs are going to be getting better. I feel like mm-hmm. yeah, I, it's that's the kind of thing. I don't stuff. I, I don't know if TVs are going to go away, but but if they did, I would imagine they'd be something like they'd be like bite sized, or that you would just get something that is like a uh, like some sort of projector that you just it just fucking pops up and it's mm-hmm. like here you go, yeah. Like, here's yeah. here's everything you're looking at. Like that's what I would imagine. Home entertainment I, I, is going to be a booming industry. Very soon. oh, it always like, will be. Yeah. Yeah. It always will be. It's just. Gotta get those sounds. I, I want things sounds. to be like um, Dragon Ball Z, where it's uh, like a capsule corp, how everything you can just put in a capsule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that, That like you put cars in a capsule, you put TVs in a capsule. Like yeah. That, that I would, I, I could see it going that direction. I could yeah. figure out some way to fucking do that and somehow. I, I Like you'd have to construct a TV out of something that isn't metal, like, or, or some sort of metal that's ridiculously malleable, but then it's like, yeah. what else would you do with that? Like, then like there's that the glass downsizing. and the pixels. Oh, God. Well, we are getting so I, I, we probably will go the other direction because right now we're getting bigger. So now we're going to like 4K TVs, and like mm. HDR, all that sort of stuff. So eventually, mm. I would imagine in like probably 20, 30 years, we're probably going to start seeing like pop up TVs, like TVs that are like really small that you can like take on the go with you. Because mm-hmm. everything's because like the fact that we have a computer in our hand, probably the next step is going to be we have a TV in our hand. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Like, I wonder when uh, movie studios are going to start using smaller cameras than the, even the big rigs they have right now. Do you remember the flip cam? Yeah. No, I, didn't call, I think you got it for a Hanukkah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's that, yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's, the, the design is ugly as sin. Yeah, I didn't use it's that a, thing. It's a, imagine holding a wooden block and it's a very small window on it and there's a record button in the middle and that's the most advanced technology at that time. Recording in high def, 1080, uh, 60 FPS on a device. Yep, and you don't have to. You don't have to get some sort of SD card, or maybe you do. I don't really remember mm-hmm. how the fucking shit worked, but it was very like just just only for recording things very quickly. Yeah, and now yeah now that's <laughs> like your phone. It was so yeah, it's very got very beat old. Up by the phone, the phone just came in and just mm-hmm. took that out of the market. We're like, oh, they're not making it anymore. Why not? It's like barely even a phone now. Like yeah. it, it, the only reason it categorizes as a phone is that you can call somebody. <laughs> right? Yeah. These are mini it. computers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, back then, when we had digital cameras, Disneyland was doing a thing. You know, digital cameras, uh, ball sucking, semen sapping, sixty forty, six forty by four eighty p, sexy. Uh, Disneyland where they were selling SD cards. That would hold up to 35 megabytes for like $120. Yeah. $120 at a goddamn theme park it's fucking to save your memories. Yeah. I've, I've always wondered if that's like a product of technology or the fact that like as size has increased, mm-hmm. people have just started to make, just sort of kind of go along the same direction of like, 
Well, we went 35 meg is going to turn into 35 gigs, but we're going to charge the same amount. Mm -hmm. And we could make it 35. I don't know. I'm not somebody who's a like a wizard of fucking like picture quality and HD technology or anything like that. But I've always that's like one of those like conspiracy theories that like you know on Reddit they're like here's a conspiracy theory that you've always thought of or like did you believe? Mm -hmm. That's like one of them right there. I always think like things could be smaller in data. They just choose not to in order to like fuck you over. Yeah, mm. I, I could be totally wrong. Same yeah, thing with that's true. Same I thing mean, with chapstick. I think chapstick makes your chips laps lips blah, blah, blah. your lips, lips more chapped. Slap. I think it makes it more chapped it's and true. continuously I makes bought, it chap. I bought one the other day. It was flavored. It fucked me up because I put it on and like I was just like licking my lips. Yep. So oh, it just made me do that. I never use yeah. chapstick. And my lips never get chapped. Yeah, I don't know, I, man. I do. And back know. to the memory thing. I mean, I think you have a point because two a two gig hard drive was almost three hundred dollars mm -hmm. and now you can get a gig for get a gig for free yeah absolutely. you can get like yeah. 12 gigs for free in google drive yeah. it's yeah. just i think it's gotta make you pay for it i think the technology event i mean i so i've heard technology advances for every like six months so i feel mm -hmm. like they're working towards it but because technology advances so fast they can't keep up with keeping up with supply and demand keeping up with the joneses yeah so it's, i don't know that's a good saying <laughs> I, I don't I don't know man I feel like they could make things smaller know. and they just don't but yeah. I again like I said I don't know I don't understand how resolutions uh, like how they translate to how many megs or gigs something is I don't I don't get that so I'll heard? never know but I, I feel like something could be you know five megs and they just they decide to make it five gigs based on like so so here's like going gaming nerd sort of stuff like Jim Sterling always talks about uh, like uh, I think it's is it DRMs I think it is. It's it's basically I can't remember the fucking term for it, but it's basically a technology that's put in games in order to uh, stop piracy. Okay. But but the thing is, is that it's been proven that those things don't work mm -hmm. and they're useless. And all it does is that it just it just takes up space on the game. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So that's like part of what I'm talking about is that they like I don't know if pictures they're just like it's this because of this, and it's like is it really is that necessary? Like that's oh. my that's my conspiracy. Yeah, but I don't yeah. fucking know. I mean, have you ever heard that conspiracy theory that the government has technology that they haven't released? Yeah. Oh, I believe that yeah, for like sure. Stuff, yeah. I totally believe oh, that. Like really crazy things. You know what I do know? The government is Wakanda. I know where they can find you. <laughs> There's no Watch. challenge today. Watch. Wakanda forever. <laughs> that movie's awesome. Yeah, well, I do know where they can. I know where they can find no you. No challenge today. <laughs> oh, what is this, sir? <laughs> the, the accents are okay. They're yeah, close. The accents yeah, are close, the, but the still a little off. Been better. Yeah, but. Um, they could find what me on Twitter. What is this now? Uh, <laughs> find me on Twitter. <laughs> Yole <laughs> underscore. <laughs> Yole underscore. Uh, Yole, where are they going to find you? Yole underscore. Wally, where are they going to find you? Valentine on Twitter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check me out. Or don't check me out. I'm still there looking. Colin, where can they find you? Creepy. You can find me on the twitch.tvs at twitch.tv slash the Ferg. You can also find me on the Twitters at the Ferg nine one. Toki, where can they find your humble abode? You can find me trading active Navajo Indians at <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> slave trade. Bring it back. Twenty eighteen. Hashtag Ooh. bring back Navajo slave trade. Tra training, not trading. Oh, I heard what? trade. Oh, oh. Let's say trading. I, 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 we heard the same thing. You can find me training you, active Navajo Indians to at Twitch.badinputs to, to harvest. And you can find me talking about marshmallows at twitter.tosh. To like, like, like one, one five. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Total clerk. Oh, Lord. One five. Get. Wait, I thought your Twitch was the bad inputs. No, that's the Twitters. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm confused. Training oh. active Navajos. Okay, all right, I'm done. All right, bye. Replicant Navajos. Replicants. <laughs>